Right, grade 12s, good day and welcome to question number five from your September paper. Now, question number five, let me just scroll down here. It wasn't even worth 20 marks, so we're going to get through it fairly quickly. Let's see, question four was database. Question five focused on HTML. So let's chat a little bit about this. So they want us to open the incomplete um, HTML file. Um, in a web browser and also in a text editor. So that's Notepad or Notepad Plus. Plus, um, you may not use a word processing program such as Word to answer the question. Okay, that's fine. Note question numbers are inserted in the comments uh, in the coding as guidelines to show you approximately where you should be putting it in. Do not delete the comments. Okay, in bold, do not delete it. Uh, an HTML tag sheet has been attached for reference. So, and they're telling you also here that your final web page should look something like this. Okay, so there already we can see the alignment. We can see that there's a picture there. We can see sort of spacing, um, some paragraph spacing, a link here at the bottom. We can see our table. So this is more or less what they want it to look like. Okay, so let's go to our file. Let's go and see what we need to do. That is digitalliteracy.ht. Uh, M L and please, please check the uh, link in the description below because um, I have got a link to all these files um, on my Google Drive. But the link is in the description. Go through it, click on it, and you'll have access to this, so you can work through this with me. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Well, this is what it does look like at the moment. You can see I haven't got my table. Um, if I compare this to this over here, you can immediately see some of the differences. So I don't have a picture. That's fine. I don't have a picture there. It's happening over here. That looks okay. Coming down here. Okay, that needs to move a little bit. And then I've got my table and I need to put in a hyperlink. Okay, so you can see why it's only you know, like 17 marks. Well, look, let's, let's, let's look at the first three things. What I also need now to do is to open um, Notepad because I want to have my coding open with me as well. So I'm going to go open with, I'm going to look for not WordPad, I'm going to look for Notepad, Notepad++, whatever this machine has. Notepad is fine. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to resize all of this so that I have this in front of me and we can see, you know, what the changes are going to look like as, as we're doing it. Okay, so there you can see, first of all, do I have a title? Yes, I have that. Uh, let's continue resizing here. Okay, so I've got my HTML there. You can see there's 5.1. So that's more or less where they want the first coding. Let's go and have a look. Set the website page color to green. All right. So now where are we going to do that? Okay. They say more or less, but that will go into the body. So we go into body, we put in a space and we're going to type in BG color. Now I, I always joke with my learners to say, um, we need to start speaking like an American. So we're not going to say color the way we say it we're going to say color okay so you you need to think of it like an american we're speaking with american english and therefore we are saying color not color okay <laughs> so we just spelling it like that color equals and we're going to put in um, cream now i i always recommend that once you've done something please save it check the changes that it has affected um and then you're okay. Because the worst thing you can do is to go through everything and then find out you've actually done something wrong and then you don't know where you've gone wrong. Okay. So again, I'm going to go file, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to refresh my site. Boom. Not quite cream, but have I got the coding correct? Yes, I have. And that's the most important. But don't worry too much about what the color looks like here as long as you've got the coding right over here. Okay, so what do they want us to do? Um, let me just check the memo as well. They wanted us to tag BG color. We've used that. Color cream applied to the whole website. Yes, we've got our two marks. Boom. 
Next one. Rectify the error that occurred when the webmaster um, was inserting a picture. And then they want us to center the picture. Okay, so let's go and look at what the webmaster did not do. 5.2. Now, is there anything wrong there? Image space source equals... Well, I don't really like this um, all the spacing over here. But that's fine. Um, let's... You see, one of the problems when it comes to pictures is we need to go to the original file. So let's go to that file. Ah. Is it a JPEG? No, this is .png. Okay. So let's change that. .png. And again, let's just see if we got all that correct. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing's coming through yet. Ah, I think I know. I think I know what the problem is here. Yeah. Source. <laughs> Sorry, it was such a silly thing. There we go. Okay. So, do you see? Sometimes you will look at something and it will actually, it will, it will actually <laughs> look like it's the right thing. So, just keep your eye on that. Now, that's fine. But now what I need to do is also move that to the center. Okay. So the, the alignment here also needs to be in the center. So if you see this, these P's over here, now I've got a paragraph tag and I've got another paragraph tag. So everything inside these tags is um, for one particular paragraph. So if I put in this tag as center, and I go here and I close the tag, center, and again, you'll see how I'm spelling it, just like an American, it's the center, not center, the center, <laughs> okay, um, so let's see what that does, if that works out, should move it to the center, and there we go, okay, so whatever I've applied is just for that paragraph, in this case, it'll just be for this picture, so is it starting to look like this, yes, it is, all right, let's move to the next one, 5.3. Fix the error under the heading, what are the challenges to digital literacy to be bulleted using square bullets. Okay, let's go 5.3. If we look at 5.3 over here, I just want to see from the picture. Here we can see it's that section. It's got sort of roundish bullets they want us to have square bullets okay no problem um where am i yes right over here 5.3 okay so first of all we have that we also have um an an unordered list okay so um if you look at this list over here you'll see that the tags that open was ol so an, an ordered list and that's why we've got one two three four this one should have a tag that opens with um, UL, which is an unordered list. And I'm just going to close that tag as well. An ordered list. Now, let's see, first of all, if that makes any difference. Ah, do you see immediately what it does? You see what it does? Moved it away, gave us a little gap over here, because we are saying that this is an unordered list. Now, inside of this, we are also saying that the type of bullet we want is a square. And again, because I'm putting it in the UL tag, it'll only apply to this section over here. So if I go File, Save, and I refresh, that then has now changed to square bullets. So by default, it'll come up with the round ones. But if I do want to square, I'll have to go and type it in um, inside the UL tag. And you saw also I didn't have a UL tag, but I put one in. Okay, just so that it gave me the proper layout there as well. All right, so we've got two, we've got five, we've got seven marks already. Then the two big ones. And the first one is to modify the table as follows. So that's 5.4. Scroll down. 
there's our table. But the one thing I can already see that it's missing is a border. Okay, but I'm not going to get into that yet. Go and have a look at this. Change the color of the table to pink. The border must be 5 PT and width 70%. Row 7 must merge across the three columns and the text must be centered and in bold. So let's, let's go and do this one step at a time. Okay, so we're going to go into our table tag. We've got a table tag open, table tag closed. We've got everything inside here. But we just want to work inside that tag. And the first thing we want to put in is the border, right? Border equals five. Okay, and if I just leave it there and I say file save and I refresh, look what happens to my table. Okay, so immediately I'm starting to become right. Okay, now I'm going to put in a space because not only do they want the border, but they want the background color of this table to be pink. Let's have a look. Bingo. Okay, so I've got it pink. What else did they say? They want the width to be, sorry, no inverted commas there, 70%. Again, do you see how I'm doing this? I do one thing, file, save, refresh to make sure it actually works. Hey, looking nice, okay? We look at this picture over here. Is it starting to look like that? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, right, let's continue. Then, Sorry, let me just get. Uh, it's not bad. Okay, right. So we've we've got we've got that sorted, um, and we. I, I always advise that you you know tick these things off. Have we changed the color of the table to pink? Yes. The border? Yes. The width? Yes. Okay. So now row seven must be merged across the three columns. The text must be centered, um, and in bold. So that's one, two. That's three things. Okay. That's what ends up giving us our six marks. So let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. We need to find, in fact, um, while we are busy with this, let's see, TR, TR, that's our, this TR represents our row, okay? You can see the courses day level, courses day level. So we need to go all the way down to this one over here. Okay, so this section, this is row seven. Now, we're going to work inside the table data. And the first thing we want to do is say align um, equals center. Right? We're going to go file, save, and we're going to refresh that. There you can see I've now got it to the center. Right? Is that what they wanted? Yes, that is what they wanted. Okay. They also wanted to make sure that the text is bold, or the text is already bold, so that's fine. But then we're going to put in another attribute, as we call it over here, called call span. So in other words, how wide must the column of this particular item, how far must it go? You know, how wide must it span? And we said it needs to go over three columns. Why? Because this is column one column two, and column three. So if we've done that correctly, we can go save, refresh, and now you can see that the data in this particular row has spanned three columns. In other words, it's stretched over three columns. The alignment is center. How do I know it's in bold? Well, not just from looking at it, but there's, there's my bold tags. My bold tag is open. My bold tag is closed. So if I go back and I go and look at this, that's exactly what it should look like. Have I changed the color to pink? Have I done the border? Yes. The width? Yes. The row is merged. The text must be centered and in bold. Boom. I am done with that table. Okay. Last one, 5.5. Create a link on the text uh, below the table to open the brochure file in your data folder. Okay. So we're saying click here for the brochure. So that is where we need to now put in our hyperlink. Okay. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up um, my tag, which is a space href, right? Equals, and the name of the file is brochure.pdf. 
Okay, if you go and check your data file, there you'll see brochure.pdf. Okay, so I need to put in the proper name. What I'm saying here is I want this thing to hyperlink to this particular file. So I need the correct name of the file. Then I'm going to close this. And remember, now I will type in whatever I need to, which is going to be click here. I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to close my tag. And what should happen if I've done this correctly? Now, now have a look here. You can see it's just normal black text. Okay. Let's go refresh. You see how that changes? Why? Because this click here section is going to take you to this file. Well, let's prove it. So I go over here, click on that, and there it takes me to that file. Okay, so grade 12s, that is it for question number five. That is all we needed to do for HTML. You can see not anything majorly difficult, but if you follow the way I've been doing it, just doing it step by step, you can see it didn't even take me that long. Okay, but doing it one step at a time, save, refresh, see that it works okay i think our biggest um little issue here was this image source because i didn't see <laughs> the r and the c swap there but it's as easy as that to then get it sorted out but you see if i had done all of this and then picked up a problem i wouldn't know where to begin so great 12s thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in question number six